What's a classic or popular film that you haven't seen and make you feel embarrassed maybe for not seeing it? And I'll tell you mine, I haven't seen Inception. So. Oh my yeah. goodness. You should be ashamed. Uh, embarrassed. I don't think I can match that. I haven't seen Titanic. Oh, there you go. You okay. haven't seen Starman either. I haven't seen Starman. I have upon your recommendation. Oh, you did. I haven't seen All About Eve. Oh. oh somebody gasped. I think I beat you. <laughs> wow, that was a full on gasp from back over there. is about this horrific family trauma that happens in the first couple minutes of the movie. Storm dies a bloody death, um, but it's a very hopeful movie actually because she, she calls her Uncle Jack somehow through space and time and gives him an opportunity to try to save her and save her whole family. You know, my character who loves his niece, who loses his niece, is doing everything he can to save his niece. And that niece, when she is brought in on the reality of the situation, is doing everything she can do to save herself and ultimately save her uncle. Certainly from a hope, wish fulfillment point of view, relate to that. And then it has all these extra elements of, of the genre and the action and the whodunit of it all as well. I would have to agree with Mr. David. Um, and how it has the aspect of unconditional love, even though there is pain um, that, of course, Jack goes through and then Ashley being so young and being so innocent, but also understanding what is happening. I'm glad that I was able to have that challenge to be in two different times, but also have one theme of love and really connecting to my life. And I would do the same thing for my family. Did you have Storm in mind early on about who you wanted to play your niece? Or? Well, I had gone to the set of Wrinkle in Time. Uh, Ava DuVernay is someone Storm and I share as a previous director. And I was just so impressed by her, not only her maturity as a performer, but her emotional intelligence as well. There's a thing with young people in film where if they just about string the lines together in the right order and convey a bit of emotion, you go, wow. But we knew that it couldn't be that. It needed to be someone who had true emotional depth. I mean, the template for us was Natalie Portman in The Professional. Like, who can bring that? Or Jodie Foster in Taxi Drivers. Like, who is that person? And so when she came in and, and we did a chemistry read together, it was just, instantaneous, no-brainer, she has every, we just felt like we had found gold, you know, and uh, it, it proved to absolutely be the case. Are you guys ready for the ring toss challenge? Okay, come on, Storm. Oh, man, my hand-eye coordination is off, so I don't think this is gonna work. Yes, yeah, cussing. See, I told you this is. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you were telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. 